Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Cancer love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Special shout out to my very good friend, Kim. She just opened her own crystal shop. Website is below, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know uh, when my readings post and when the winners are announced, okay? Um, I do a huge giveaway once a month. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, a whole bunch of stuff, including a $250 giveaway. The information is in the description box below okay all right my loves let's go ahead and get shuffled up here holy spirit sorry guys holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance and love messages for my cancers please clarity guidance and love messages for my cancers please Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Justice card, Libra energy. The Two of Pentacles. The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And the Six of Swords. Cancer, this is interesting because, I mean, what I'm feeling here is we have, we have an apology coming in. We have a, an apology coming in and I'm feeling also an offer to like start fresh, start new. Let's start, let's start over again. You know what I'm saying? Let's just introduce ourselves all over again. Um, but I feel like you're not sure if this person is going to do right by you. You're not sure what to do with this person, okay? I feel like this person really, really wants to just leave the past in the past and try to move past, you know, like they just want to like start fresh. Like, let's just pretend that never happened. <laughs> Nine of Wands and the Star, Aquarian Energy. The Fool card, Aries Energy. And the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. What I'm kind of getting here is that the divine has been whooping this person's butt. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here. With the Star card and the Nine of Wands, I feel like that, you know, the divine is sitting here like, you know, you wanted an empress. We delivered an empress, you know. And the fact that you mistreated this empress, now we're going to make it, I don't want to say we're going to make life unbearable for you, but you know, it's almost like this person has had a really, really hard time without you cancer because they didn't follow, um, the path that they were supposed to follow. You see what I'm saying? With the page of swords and the full card, someone is realizing, you know, their mistakes. They're realizing that being noncommittal or not appreciating this when it was in front of them was a bad idea. So we've got the ace of swords, and the page of swords here so this is a lot of awakening that's happening and the four of swords oh boy oh let me shut that off guys i'm sorry so you see what i'm saying this person is waking up to the fact like they're exhausted like this person is waking up to the fact that they messed up okay they messed up and they're like can we just start over? Like, not a second chance, not... Like, this person wants to just literally reintroduce themselves to you, okay? I know I messed up so bad in the past, and maybe that's not who I really was. You know, that's not who I really was. Maybe you caught this person in a bad time. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you caught this person at a bad time in their life. And I feel that now, with the Four of Swords, this person is really honest when they come in saying that they want to heal this. They're being very honest. Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. 
I feel like you were this person's stability in a way. Now, you may have supported them financially. It's a possibility. But it's just like, I don't know, like you were their rock. Like when life got crazy, they were able to come to you and center themselves, you know, and they no longer have that. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Three of Swords. This person wants to apologize for breaking your heart. The three of wands, they're real. They, you know, I think this person didn't even realize, like when you were in this person's life, Cancer, they did not, to say they didn't appreciate you, can't even like cover it. Like, I guess this person just took you for granted. Like they never thought you would leave or they didn't think they really needed you. And now they're sitting there like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did I do? You know, being without cancer sucks. King of Cups. There you go. You see? Cancer. The, you're in that's Cancerian energy. You're in your divine masculine. You know, being without cancer, they're yearning for you, Cancer. Because, like I said, you provided some form of stability. You provided some form of, like, when life got crazy for this person, you were their center. Do you understand? You were, like, their... Ooh, the magi oh, wow. Did you see that? The Magician and the Nine of Swords. Virgo Gemini energy. Someone here is manifesting. They may not even know that they're manifesting. Ooh. This person, so whoever we're dealing with here knows that this is over, but they can't handle it. They can't handle the karma that's coming to them. They can't handle this wheel turning. They can't, they just can't handle it. So I feel like someone here, just through their anxiety, through the fact that they can't stop thinking about you, they're manifesting. Oof, the wheel came out again. Oh my gosh, this is definitely divinely guided. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. The Ace of Cups. And the Five of Cups. Oh, Cancer. This person is having a lot of regret. So I feel here, there's this energy of, with the death card, Scorpionic energy, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles, someone here wants to win a new beginning with you, but they also, like, they want to be victorious and getting a second chance here, but I feel that they also know that they have to come in with truly changed behavior. Yeah, they, they have to come in. They cannot, you know, they can't just... I feel like they know that they can't just come in and, and things be the way they used to be. That's just not going to happen. But this person has a lot of regret, man. I mean, what did they do? Did they put you in a third party? I don't know. We got the three of swords there. Four of wands. I mean, that's the 1111 card. You could be divinely, gu you know, divinely guided soulmates. You could be twin flames. Life has not been treating this person well since you haven't been in the picture, Cancer. That's all I can tell you. I mean, the life is, it's, it's almost like life just <laughs> whooped this person's butt until that light bulb. Listen, those of you that are a little older may get this, okay? But you know, like when your parents used to give you that good whooping and you're like, oh, I get it now. Okay, no. All right. Fold the towels like this. Got it. Check. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, that's kind of like, like life has really whipped this person into shape for them to realize I had a really good person on my hands and I let it go. Let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and oh, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? So for the Empress here, we've got the Five of Swords. Now, I feel like this person, when they were with you, Cancer, this person maybe sabotaged the connection a lot. They were in and out a lot. This person may have been very quick with their mouth, quick to be nasty. Um, this person may have always been want, always wanted to be right, like they never did any wrong type of thing. Um, but I feel like ultimately, you know, maybe you walked away from this person, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, this, them coming back, crawling and begging for you, Wheel of Fortune and Wheel of Fortune, it's the tables turning, Cancer, it's, it's karma, look, karma right there, Justice card, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles, uh, uh let's see here, I feel like, Cancer, you are just, we've got the Emperor to the Empress here, by the way, I just saw that, 
the emperor to the empress and the four of wands on the board so divine feminine divine masculine i mean this is just this is definitely a true soul tie Ooh, cancer does this person want you to leave a third party are you with the, are you did you move on to new love because now i'm seeing an emperor and an empress and the king of wands let's see who's this king of wands spirit what do we have here for this king of wands so i feel like with the seven ooh, well this the high okay the high priestess cancer piscean energy wanted to come out this person is either a secret or this person's not talking, but give me one second here. The two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, I feel like, you know, you're thinking of this person, um, the past here, and you're just like, you don't know what to do with this emperor right now. I feel like they're paying their karma. You don't know what to do. So this king of wands is like a secret or this king of wands is just in the background. Who is this king of wands? The three of pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Swords. The Six of Cups. So either this King of Wands is the Emperor wanting to come in and work on this connection. But I don't feel like that King of Wands is the Emperor. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cancer, I feel like that King of Wands is a third party. And I feel like this ex, this person coming in, this emperor that's coming in with that Six of Swords wants you to walk away from this third party because that boat is leaving the King of Wands. Let's see here. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. The Six of Wands. Who? Someone here. Talk about ego death. The star, Aquarian energy, pre-empress energy, Virgo energy, um, nine of pentacles. So you see, this person had their pride. This emperor had their pride shot to shit, man. Like this person really suffered a huge ego, ego blow. And there you are, pre-empress, just doing your thing thing. You know what I'm saying? You're just a star shining like a diamond. Like you're just doing your thing. Pre-empress energy, you're doing good. This person is not doing very well. So this up here, guys, by the way, it's either you moved on to someone new, okay? Um, I think you have, for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, you may have two situations. You may have one person that you're secretly working on a connection with that may seem more solid, and then you may have this ex that wants you to, you know what I'm saying, come towards them. With the full card and the nine of swords, Aries energy, we got the nine of swords twice. I'm telling you, this person has not been doing well since you've been gone. Page of swords and the two of cups, they're realizing what they had when they had you. They're they're seeing the soul connection. They're seeing how, how strong your love was. They're seeing how connected you two were. I mean, they're, they're awakening to it. Ace of swords and the five of cups again, and they're really regretting it, Cancer. Five of cups... Five of Cups, they're seeing now how badly they messed up. They are seeing how bad they messed up. Five of Swords, excuse me, Four of Swords and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. No, I'm telling you, this person is sick. Like, they're getting sick. They're getting sick without you, Cancer. I'm starting to feel it inside me. I'm starting to get anxious. The, this person is getting sick without you. Five of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. These are ugly cards, guys. This is not good. This is someone not sleeping, having nightmares, having anxiety, daydreaming about you, yearning for you, wanting to talk to you. Tell me about the five of pentacles and the nine of cups, four of wands and the ace of swords. This person is not, okay, first of all, no one can take care of this person the way you can. Let's just get that out of the way, okay? No one fulfills their wishes the way you do, okay? And not only that, but they want something and they're not getting it. They're realizing that you are their perfect counterpart, that you give them that stability, that safety, and that security. And now you're gone, Cancer. You're gone. Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, the Moon card, Pisces, Cancerian energy. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person maybe doesn't know if they should come in and apologize or not. Like, they don't know. Let's 
Tell me about this Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone here was uh, very impulsive. Cancer. Someone here made a very impulsive and quick and stupid mistake, and they hurt you with that Nine of Wands. Because that Nine of Wands is also a Wounded Warrior card, you know what I'm saying? And they hurt you. They also hurt themselves, though. They also hurt themselves. And, you know, they're regretting that decision. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. This person is yearning for your peace. Like, you bring a certain level of peace and stability to them. Ooh, that King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. This person's in love with you, Cancer. You have this person's whole flipping heart, man. And you gave them your whole heart. You gave them your whole heart, and, and you have theirs, and I, I don't even know why you guys separated. I don't know. This person maybe made a quick and impulsive decision towards a third party. The Magician and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Nine of Swords, and the Hermit, Virgo energy. So, you know, what's happening here, Cancer, is this, you see this person as totally manipulative. You see this person as manipulative. You don't trust them. You don't trust them. So this person is forced to stay in the dark, in their head, going crazy, wanting their blessing back with this queen of pentacles and this wheel of fortune and not knowing how to get it because they can't like reach your heart again. They just can't, you know, you just, you don't trust You see this person as like a master manipulator for whatever reason. I mean, you guys know the wheel of fortune and yeah, someone here. Scorpio Aries energy we got the tower and we've got the queen of pentacles and the six of pentacles someone here is now realizing someone is now realizing that they had a relationship with this queen of pentacles someone I mean we've got the queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles pre empress energy and the empress energy I mean one person here has their shit together I mean together together like a catch you know what I'm saying and I feel like they didn't give equal give and take and now it's hitting them hard that this was their blessing and maybe this person yeah uh, cancer i feel like they had a choice between a queen of wands and an empress gender doesn't matter and they chose wrong they chose wrong cancer i feel like they chose wrong and they they're they just, they're regretting ace of cups and the four of pentacles you're not giving them that love that you see. You see, we got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups here. There you are, Cancerian Energy, Ace of Cups, okay? And the Ace of Cups here too. You're holding back your love. You're not giving this person the love, you know, and, and they're, they're missing it. The Devil card and the Five of uh, Cups. Cancer, Capricorn Energy, this person is dying. Like, they're going to die without you. Like, this, I, I, I hate to say it that way. I'm sorry. Um... We have, yeah, we have the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, Taurus energy, Sagittarian energy here. This person would quite literally do just about anything to get you back. And if they could get you back, they will marry you. They will marry you. They're realizing here what they put you through, Cancer. Look at this. They're awakening to the fact that they put you through a lot. They they were very noncommittal. Maybe this person likes a lot of attention. I don't know why. With that horse there, and I don't normally see this. Some of you, they, they may have a motorcycle, okay? Um, but this is someone who likes to roll up with a lot of attention. Like when they when they, you know, pull up to a house or whatever, they they draw in a lot of attention, okay? When they walk into a room or whatnot, there's a lot of competition here. And this person stirs the pot. They stir this shit up. They like it. They enjoy it. And they're realizing here that that was that wasn't fair to you. That that was overwhelming for you, okay? They see that now. They see that that behavior was unfair, that they should have committed, that they should have been the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. And if this person can get a second chance after breaking your heart, you know, after being left out in the cold, this person is obsessively regretting. I mean, I'm talking like obsessively regretting this decision that they made to hurt you. Obs Did I say obsessively enough? obsessively <laughs> like this person is not playing like have you ever made a mistake in your life that you just can't stop thinking about mm. my lanta let's see here let's pull some oracle oof what did i say dark thoughts i just per i'm telling you this person is in their head we've got strong virgo virgo energy 
Virgos are like that. I mean, trust me, my best friend's a Virgo. I've got exes that are Virgos. I've got my son's a Virgo. You know, they get in their head. They get in their head. And this person, especially if they're a Virgo, they're, they're suffering. We've got woman holding a coin. There's that queen of pentacles. They're thinking about you, Cancer. Okay, they are thinking about you, how abundant you were, how beautiful you were. You deserve love and how you deserved love that they did not give you when they had the chance. This person did not love you right when they had the chance, Cancer. And they are regretting that big time. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this person is like, listen, I got to do something. I feel like this person's like, I, I got to make a move. I got to do something here. We've got good on paper. You'll date someone because you should, but the um factor is missing. They don't excite you. So Cancer, this person may have moved on to a queen of wands where maybe, I don't know, this person had something else that seemed good, but for some reason the connection didn't work. Or maybe cancer this was when you were with this person like you had everything that they wanted or needed but maybe you there was a lack of excitement okay because you know the queen of pentacles is not the queen of wands we know this right the queen of pentacles is more worried about saving up to buy a house than she is about you know uh, you know what I'm saying? Her glutes and or, you know, growing a beard or because guys gender doesn't matter here. So I feel like maybe when you were with this person, Cancer, you were at a place in your life where you were worried about getting your money right or going to school or doing other things that were more serious. And maybe there was just, there just wasn't enough excitement in this connection. I don't feel that this has to do with the three of the, the three of wands, the queen of wands. I feel like this is why the connection may have fallen apart between you and this person. Divinely guided. I told you. Got that wheel of fortune there twice. This love will be divinely guided. Trust the process in this relationship. You are exactly where you need to be. So, you know, I feel like this person is learning a lesson here, Cancer. I feel like this person is learning that, you know, yeah, fun guys and fun girls, they're really great in the moment, but... You know, overall, when it comes down to handling life, you want that good girl and you want that good guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want that person that's good on paper. And, you know, excitement can always be attained. You could always be like, hey, listen, we're, you know, we're not going to work today. Let's go to the beach. Let's go get crazy. You know, you could always build excitement. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot turn, a, a, you know, a, a lower vibrational person into an empress. You can't do that. Do you see what I'm saying? The Empress is the embodiment of all four queens, okay? Uh, or kings, okay? Gender doesn't matter. So the Empress has already been the Queen of Wands at one point or another in her life or in his life, okay? So I promise you that this Empress knows how to party so much better than the Queen of Wands, but she's worried about running an empire right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's this sense of like, I think what the Divine is saying is, hey, listen, you know, excitement can be created but you know you had this amazing connection and you just let it go you just let it go so this person is is getting very sick cancer like they're getting sick without you like literally sick so let's see if they're going to come in let's see if they're going to apologize let's see if you're going to take them back let's see what the outcome here is okay link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys bye